I want to uh, recognize Huron University College, which is located in London. They are launching a new de degree program this September in animal ethics and sustainability leadership. It's the first program of its kind in the world, and it's thanks to the vision and passion of Dr. Kendra Coulter, who is a globally recognized expert in animal welfare advocacy. And one of the concerns that Dr. Coulter has raised in Ontario is the need for more PAWS Act in inspectors so that cases can be thoroughly and quickly investigated. She has also called for more training and protective measures for inspectors. So, Speaker, my question to the minister right now, we have about 100 inspectors uh, under the PAWS Act. How does the minister expect the new PUPS Act to be properly and effectively enforced if we don't have enough inspectors to proactively inspect and do the enforcement necessary? Back to, to the member from Brampton North. Thank you. Uh, th thanks, uh, Madam Speaker, and thanks to the colleague for the question. I, uh, uh, and uh, that's good to know about here on University uh, uh, as well. We would love uh, this bill will be going to committee, so we'd love to have them come to committee and, uh, and testify that as well. Um, what this act is here to do is to uh, codify and clarify what. A puppy mill is and hold minimum fines uh, to hold those bad actors to account. We've heard from animal welfare inspectors concerns about lack of record keeping. We've heard about uh, lack of definition when they're doing their jobs uh, and laying these charges. We are clearly laying out if you are breeding a dog, uh, a female dog before a year old, you will face a $10,000 fine. If you're uh, caught having an animal in bad conditions where they don't have proper sanitary, they don't have the proper diet you will face a fine, $10,000 if the, uh, your neglect of an animal causes the death of an animal, you will face a fine of $25,000. I'm sure uh, the, the folks from uh, my colleagues riding would agree that this is a very good thing, uh, and we're pleased to have the support of the uh, OSPCA and Canadian Kennel Club as well.